man, Mr. Mebolio Garisano today. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Today is his big day. So for those of you who don't know, my dog Garrison is an escape artist. That's what they told me when I adopted him. And over the past two years that I've had him, that has proven to be nothing but true. He has escaped a couple times and we've gotten him back every single time. But we've never let him go, like on our own well-being. I've tied him on 100 foot leashes and done all kinds of crazy shenanigans, but we've never done the big kahuna. And I mean, technically today we're not even gonna do the big kahuna. Today we're gonna release him with a 100 foot leash, but it's not gonna be like dug into the ground. It's not gonna be tied into anything. And I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. I mean, you know, it's just a hundred for leash. You can still get away with the leash. We got the bum here, Little Red Riding Hood on the beach. Check it out. It's freaking freezing cold. It's December. My gas cap cover doesn't match the rest of my car. And that's kind of embarrassing. You know, it's weird. Callie's afraid of the ocean, but then she like jumps into pools and rivers and all that stuff. But then the ocean, she's like, no, no way, man. No way. Cass, you want it? Get it, guys, get it. Nope, nope, nope. She's scared. That was actually more than usual, so she's she's growing. It's growing on her. We're uh, we're doing knots. I mean, you know, I did something called a bone line knot, but you know, I forgot how to do it, and you know, I can't look it up because we don't have a signal here. So we're just doing a bunch of these regular knots. If you do it 50 times, it's bound to do something. Now, obviously, I do take Gary's safety very seriously, so we do have another precaution. I was looking around online, and for the price, this seems to be the best all-around dog training collar. Now, I'm not gonna shock him unless like he's literally gonna get hit by a bus, but it does have a vibrate and beep feature, which when I was using it in my backyard, Gary reacted pretty well to it. Like, it stopped him in his place. He was like, yo, what is that? Especially when you turn the vibrate all the way up. Now, like I said, it does also have a shock feature, which I don't plan on ever using, but if he's sprinting towards the road and there's a bus that's gonna run him over, then, you know, maybe we'll give it a shot. So this thing has all different kinds of settings as shock power one through 99. We're gonna turn it all the way down to five. You know, hopefully, you know, that'll be good and it won't be too crazy. Now, I'm not gonna shock him, but if I have to, then it'll be a five banger. So we also have the vibrate feature. Check it out, listen to this. You see how he's reacting to it? <laughs> so that'll be good. And then we also have the beep feature, which I don't know if that's gonna work or not. He didn't seem to react to that, but you know, it's a nice little added feature. All dogs are different, so your dog may like the beep feature. I think Callie actually really reacted to the beep feature <laughs> when we put it on her. And now she's running away. Callie, come here! Come here, Callie! There she goes. See, she's like reactive. I don't think that Gary would come running back if we called him, if I had to predict, but I hope he will. We do have a Jeep incoming. I guess it does kind of look like an animal. No. <laughs> but, but it's not, Gary, it's not. It's not a squirrel, it's a Jeep. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Okay, maybe not the best idea. Okay, that was easy. I should've just done that from the beginning. All right, so right now, we have Gary attached to a leash. So, I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Come on, let's go. And we're gonna start by putting the leash down. We're gonna do a little bit of testing. Come here. All right, we're vibrating him, and he's kind of coming back. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Gary, come here. Okay, he turned when I beeped him. Yeah, it's working, dude. He's listening. We're vibrating. Gary, this way. Come here. Vibrate. There we go. Instant turnaround. Look at that. We got the Mr. Meatball. All right, so check it out. We got a banana. It's actually the Bumps man. She bought this and, and I have it. Gary, come here, you want a treat? What's this? Just eat the whole thing, Gary, you know? Okay, hang on, let me crack it open for you. It's not working, it's like one of those annoying cracks when you gotta like do this. Nobody likes those. And there we go. Then you get the Mr. Snack. Then we get the Mr. Snack for chaos. This is, this is a disaster, oh my God. This is amazing. I mean, if I could do this and it doesn't go bad, you know, it doesn't go south, he's about to poop. And, okay, I do, I have poop bags in my pocket. No, I know, I know, I didn't bring bales, but she comes here all the time, and obviously, you know, she's fine. I just didn't want there to be too much stress going on, but Callie's obviously a really good listener. Bales is kind of old and senile, and she doesn't really listen to me anymore, but it's fine because she doesn't run away like Gary does. But I just figured maybe Gary would follow Callie's great example and listen. Good boy, Gary, good boy. Yes, no Gary, wrong way, Gary, hey, come here. Okay, I mean, I'm just kind of trusting the process right now. <laughs> oh my God, look at him. Good boy, good boy, Gary. Look at the zoomies. Good boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now hopefully he doesn't run off into the distance, flopping around and we never see him again. Because well, that, that would suck. Good boy, yes, we're gonna get a treat now. Because you did such a good job. Good boy, and Kaz is gonna get a treat too. There we go, no, she doesn't want it. Gary's getting double treats. D 
double treats for the double good boy, I think. How do you think he's doing? He's doing Gary. He's doing Gary stuff. We got a banana peel. Crap, you guys caught me. I'm not going to litter the banana peel. But but I don't know. What do you want? You want it? You just want to eat it? Yeah, have it. Get it. Get it, Gary. Get it. Now give me it back. Give me that banana peel right now. It's mine. Remember the time when Bales ate a pumpkin? If you've been watching for <laughs> if you've been watching for a while, I bought a pumpkin for Halloween. I brought it home and I left to go do something, grab something from the store. I came back, the pumpkin was gone, and it was just a stem. I'm like, Biz, you literally ate the entire pumpkin, the skin, everything. And that kind of reminds me of what Gary's doing right now. I mean, this is kind of gross. I should probably, you know, I'm not picking it up. We're burying it. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, so I don't want to take it too far and have something crazy happen. Things have been going really good so far. I mean, he's just kind of sticking with us, which is great. It's amazing. I mean, this could not have gone better. So I think we're going to get out of here. There's actually people coming now. Look at Callie's like trying to keep him in check. She's like, no, sir, you're not going to run away. So we're going to run back to the car. We're going to see if he follows us. Okay, we're running. Come on, Gary. Let's go. Come on. Oh, there he is. Crap. Oh my God, he's like a bullet. He is literally a bullet. Okay, no, we're not gonna grab it. We're gonna try to get him into the car on his own. There's a car coming though, so I don't want him to see that and think it's an animal and go try and attack in a car, which would be weird to see. It might actually be kind of entertaining, but no, come on, let's go. Gary, come on. All right, we're gonna test out this vibrate once again. Here we go. Come here, let's go. Look at that, he's on his way over. I would say, believe it or not, I think it really did work pretty well. So when I was vibrating him at the very beginning, right when we got here, he would immediately turn around and look at me. He'd be like, yo, what is that? Look at that, dude. That's amazing. Thank you, Cal. You were keeping him in check. You did a good job. Come on, up. That was good. I like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now let me do it to your face. Just kidding. So you were down. I, I like that, I dig that. We should drive down the beach with this hanging out the back. Yeah, then we wouldn't be able to escape. We'd be stuck here forever unless like somebody shocked us. I mean, then we would run away. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yes, dude, that was amazing. I hope I got a thumbnail. I don't know if I got a thumbnail, but it doesn't matter. I mean, that was fun. That was fun, Mr. Sandman. These are like a bad batch of bananas, dude. You like can't, I hate when you have to, oh my God. You know, I hate opening. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. I can't handle the banana and Gary is losing interest. He's like, yo, what's over there? I, I don't see anything, but he's super focused. Here we go. How about, how about a banana? Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. So for what it's worth, I think this collar works amazing. Obviously, I didn't shot Gary. I don't have any plans to, but if I ever have to, I mean, you know, whether you like it or not, I think it's a good option to have. Like if he's running in front of a train, you know, we're gonna shock him and hopefully it'll it'll stop him. It'll save his life. The build quality seems pretty amazing and I love the fact that there's no batteries. I mean, the ones with batteries are so stupid. You just plug it in to one of those old Android chargers, charge it right up and there you go, it's done. No stupid battery. I mean, there is a battery in there technically, but it's not like a stupid one. It's a cool one. Anyways, you guys know I like getting stuff for free. So when I found this collar, I contacted the company and I begged them to send me one of these. And I'm super happy they did. They're a super cool company. So if you want to support me and Meatball Garisano, go ahead and check them out. If you do, if you want one, if you want one, go ahead and check them out. I can vouch that so far, so good. Oh my God, I just missed it. Like this huge wave came up and I had to jump in the car and now it's all wet. It's salt water, dude, salt water makes rust. Dude. I, I don't want this car to rust, but I mean, I think I think it's inevitable. I kind of do a lot of rusty boy stuff, huh, Gary? Now check this out, this is one of my favorite features of the 4Runner, oh my God. I mean, I just think that's cool. My old Explorer that I had, it would open like up like a hatch, but I mean, that's, that's not as cool, man. All right, so here we go. We're heading through the treacherous waters and we made it through. Dude, there's like birds everywhere out there, look at that. It's like an amazing bird scene. Dude, check it out, it's romantic. Yeah, you like that? That's good stuff, bro. I don't think she thinks it's romantic, guys. Gary does, look at him. He's like, oh, I want somebody to marry me so badly. I'll marry him. Oh, really? Really, Gary's stealing all my ladies now, too. What the heck, Gary? So apparently if you run through a bunch of seagulls, like you drive through them, you can get like a $10,000 fine. Gary does not like the seagulls. Gary, it's okay, dude. Cameron, you suck, you're blurry. And yes, for those of you who are asking, you can drive on the beach in Rhode Island. A lot of states you can't, and people think it's like insane that we can do it. But I mean, it's just, it's a cool little fact. You know, it's the ocean state. They gotta let us drive on the beach too, or else that would be stupid. We gotta appreciate and enjoy the ocean. Like in the middle of the summer, you can just drive down the beach and run over as many people as you want. It's one of the coolest things about this state. Wow, Gary, you did such a, <gasps> 
Miz. Hello, dear. I'm so sorry, Miz. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be too stressful. I didn't know. And you know, now that it's all said and done, I know I could have brought you, but it's okay. We're going to make it up to you with a very delicious treat. We got the bears of broccoli monstrosity. There we go. Cows. No, that's for bears. This is bears special day. We're giving bears a bunch of broccoli. Okay, you guys can have like some secondary broccoli. You guys had bananas, dude. Let the bears have her broccoli, man. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I don't know, like some dogs love broccoli, some dogs hate it. The bears kind of loves, well, everything. Okay, so this is it. This is the grand bedroom reveal. Okay, there was supposed to be some music there. I don't know if it worked or not, but check it out. This is it. This was a long time in the making. If you've been watching, you saw this room. It was just all a gigantic mess, and it's done. I mean, this took a long time. This took a very long time, like a year and a half, but you know, I'm kind of a slow worker, you know, so it could have been a lot quicker, but check it out. We got the Bums Rocks. This is what she was doing while we were off hunting for Gary on the beach. Got cool rocks. Dude, we need a new camera. Like, I don't know what's going on. This camera sucks. If you guys got any ideas and tips and tricks on how to fix this camera, because I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just because I'm kind of careless, and I like to throw it around sometimes. But with that, we will thank you for watching, and we will see you on the puppy next one. <gasps>